Ness has that nifty reflector in the front smash whenever he pulls out his baseball bat. And as you guys may know, it also increases the damage by I think 1.5, 1.3, some value around there. Now usually the projectile that he reflects back, it, it usually is enough to send people flying. But how far can that go? Like, you know, that's been around pretty much since Melee. I'm not sure if Smash 64 had the front um, reflection mechanic in Ness's baseball bat. I didn't really play Smash 64 too much. Melee was the game I first started getting on. But since Melee, from my knowledge. But anyways, so we're here now to test the potential of this bat. I'm going to give a big shout out to Cody Street. Cody Stree, who managed to do this test. The test basically involves the villager dropping the bowling ball and Ness as a character reflecting the bowling ball back and forth between the two of them. Now, as you guys can also see here, there's Fox there too, so I'm guessing that um, Cody must have been doing a lot of tests with just anybody who has reflection ability. So, um, now, the thing that's interesting about this video is what happens after a certain point if Ness constantly reflects the, the projectile back too much between two of them. Because, you know, every time that bat hits it, the damage is increased and the knockback is increased as well too. So it just constantly goes back and forth. Um, the villager's pocket sort of has the same ability as well with the whole um, projectile thing. So let's see what happens when Ness constantly knocks the, the bowling ball back and forth too much. It's really interesting. So now the video is going to play once more in closer um, perspective and take a look at this. Okay. So as you guys, if you guys think that the video is going to be in slow motion, it's actually not. You can pay attention to the timer at the top right of the screen and you'll see for yourselves that everything is in real time. So what you're about to see Ness do from hitting that bowling ball back and forth too much with the reflection is actually in real time. So let's take a look. The first, the nest on the bottom hits the bowling ball once as the villager drops it, knocks it back up to the nest at the top. And the nest at the top hits the bowling ball, which has already been reflected once. So it's not like this thing has been passed around that much. It literally was just hit by the nest at the bottom, knocked up to the nest at the top. And the one at the top hit it once. Now take a look at this. Look at that lag after he hits that bowling ball back. That is insane. Around five seconds, yeah, five seconds of just straight lag where you cannot do shit. Just because he knocked it back with so much power that it slowed him down as it is. And of course, like I said, pay attention to the top right of the screen. You'll see that nothing was slowed down here. I thought it was pretty crazy that um, this happened because they don't really say anything about Ness reflecting the, um, a projectile too much can slow him down. I'm not sure if that's even in the tip section of the Smash game, but I mean, it's pretty interesting that this happened to happen. Um, but then again, it's not probably impractical, you know, something like this probably wouldn't really happen too often. And does the slowdown lag depend upon the power of the projectile initially? Because we all know the villager's bowling ball is fucking strong. So I mean, maybe if it was something smaller, like maybe Fox's laser, the reflection wouldn't be as harsh in terms of giving him such a big cooldown. Like five frames of cooldown for hitting that shit back. Insane stuff right there, man. I would love to see this test, like I said, done with something which is a lot more minuscule, like Fox's laser. Definitely love to see that in action, but I mean, it'll be hard to emulate it, I suppose, unless you have Fox stand next to Ness, in a sense. I can see it being done, though. But uh, what do you guys think about this? I didn't really think something like this was possible. I mean, of course, you would think that this would just constantly get reflected back and forth, but it seems like Ness has a limit in terms of how powerful the projectile he can reflect can be. If it's too strong, he can reflect it, but he's gonna take a ton of um, a ton of frame lag. I guess you can call it cooldown in a sense, but he's gonna take a ton of it. Um, so definitely be mindful of that if you are a Ness main, but then again, what kind of Ness main would be in a situation like that in the first place? Usually they just absorb the projectile, but if it's a physical projectile, I don't think Ness can absorb the bowling ball. But um, I don't know for a fact. I'll talk to you guys in the next video though. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.